Uh, Tim, uh, we're at this conference in, in Crete on the physics of fine tuning, and uh, the uh, concept of a multiverse is 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 present in in almost every kind of discussion because when you deal with fine tuning, you naturally get multiverse theories to uh, to generate it, and uh, um, I, there is a controversy in uh, in the science community uh, with some distinguished scientists and thinkers on both sides. And the, and, and the question revolves around, is the multiverse uh, and discussions of it, is it science? Is it, I mean, it could be, certainly everybody's interested in his philosophy, but is it real science? And then derivative from that, inflation theory in, in, the, uh, in, in uh, the beginning of the universe and explaining that. Is that real science? Uh, you're a philosopher of science and a philosopher of physics in particular. Um, how, how should we begin to analyze that question since there's such dispute? So the question is whether the multiverse is science or is, is inflation science. I think that's just a bad question to ask. It's like if I were doing aesthetics, people sometimes say about something, oh, that's not even art, <laughs> right? <laughs> Trying to insult it. Mm -hmm. And as if the, you then have to decide this is art, this isn't art. And if you get in the art category, you get some privileges from being <laughs> in the art category. I think that's just silly. Sure, it's art. It's just bad art, right? Yeah. Some art is created and it's art and it's created to be art and it's just crummy art, right? Um, so I don't think there's a question, is this science or is it not science? The question is, do we, is it clearly stated? Do we have any evidence that it's true? How strong is the evidence? What kind of evidence is it? And some parts of science are that are in the beginnings of developing theories, and I say there's certainly parts of science, there's not yet any evidence yet, you're playing with ideas, you're imagining this and that, you're trying to be uh, precise enough in what you're imagining that you might reduce it to some equations. That's science. But is that yet a scientific theory that's well supported by any evidence? No, of course not. And it, you know, science involves articulating the theory, then seeing what observations could tell for or against it, then trying to do the observations and so on. So those are the questions you should be asking, not is it science, but what kind of reasons could we in principle have or do we have to believe that it might be correct. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. The the problem here, I, I think, I agree with what you said, and and I think most people would. The the difference comes that with the multiverse, because the multiverse by definition is outside the so-called light cone that we can have access to. So mm -hmm. there's no physical possibility for us to get information uh, from that mm -hmm. because it's it's beyond our light horizon right that in principle because you can't get information from it it's not science well we perfectly well ask physicists um, what's going to happen in a few billion years yeah, and that's... we think that they give us scientific answers in principle we can't get direct information about what's going to happen a billion years from now but... and we're not going to be around in a billion years to look so but we think their answers are scientific because they have evidence or reasons to back up their conclusions. So even if I can't directly access these other universes, I might have reason to believe they exist because they're consequences of a theory for which I do have direct evidence. Like string theory is supposed to imply that these might exist. And you can imagine having evidence for string theory that comes from the Large Hadron Collider or you know other ways we normally get it. But you can imagine it for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Uh, it, it seems different in principle, though, uh, in, in terms of predicting the far future of the universe, which was your analogy, because we have equations which define how galaxies are structured, how stars are formed, um, how the universe is expanding, and particularly that, dark energy, accelerating the expansion. And then we can uh, validate them back in time mm -hmm. by just looking at different slices in the universe because as we look further away, we're yeah. looking further back in time. So we, we have that. So we have a robust, and if our prediction that we make our theory fits the data of, of the past, then we have a very high likelihood of seeing the future, even though we were never going to get data from the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but this is just what you're saying. We have evidence for the theory. The theory implies something. We have reason to believe the theory, we have reason to believe what it implies. And the very same thing can happen with the multiverse. That, how, how so? Well, if I had reason to believe string theory, now this is problematic at the moment because it hasn't sure, made sure, predictions sure. that have been tested, but suppose it develops and gets clarified and it makes some sh sharp predictions that are not made by other theories and those are verified and you say, okay, I have good reason to believe string theory. What does string theory itself imply about what happened early in the universe 
well, near the Big Bang. And they're going to say, well, it implied you were in a state that actually would give rise to this multiverse. It would give rise to these other pocket universes. That's the claim. Whether it's true or not, it's a comprehensible claim, and it would lead to perfectly good scientific reasons to believe in such a thing. So, the, so what you're saying is that to even ask whether it's science, we, we, we shouldn't even ask it because we, we don't know? We should ask for anything proposed, what evidence do we have to believe it? And if we have evidence to believe it, we should then ask, what does it imply? And if we have evidence to believe it, we have evidence to believe, we have reason to believe whatever it implies. Because the fact that we can get no information from it, do you think it is possible in principle for the multiverse to be called science? Yes. I, I, don't, I, I don't think you need direct, direct observational access to everything that a theory postulates in order to call the theory scientific. And in order for the theory even to be well confirmed and for you to have good reasons to believe the theory is true.